I have a UPS package here to unbox, and this has, I don't think I need a knife. Maybe I do. There's like this little pull tab on the side here. Should be able to open it right up. Inside here, I got some packing material. What do we have here? Here we go. I think the rest of it's all, yeah, the rest of it's all packing material. So we have this guy. Let's get into this and see what we have. Take up a little, a little more than my liking. So there's a bracelet. You guys recognize that logo? I'm not super familiar with that logo. Of course, it'll be in the title. So it comes with a little strap. Oh, it's Revolver. Yeah. Just chatted with him not too long ago. He said he was going to send out this new model. It looked pretty cool. So he showed me a picture of it first, but check this out. Remember that ward that I had over that had the sapphire dial? Check it out. They're not the only one that can do it. So... New, totally new case design, display case back. That's pretty wild. It's got like the rifling, kind of like a rifling pattern on that inner metal ring. That's pretty wild. And the movement says that NH70. What the heck is that NH70? I'm not familiar with that movement. I'll have to look it up. Screw down, cut around. Does wind, does hack. It's a no date, so they put the right movement in there. I like the handset. I like the pop of orange. It's well built. Let's check the bezel action. Ooh, nice. 120 click, very smooth. Looks like it has a sapphire bezel insert as well. It doesn't line up or not. Yeah, pretty much. And not, not a whole lot of scent to the strap, but it comes with three straps. That's pretty wild. I think this one's called the uh, Revolver Recon, is what it looks like to me. And obviously it's a play on, you know, the revolver chambers, stuff like that. But it's cool having that sapphire dial. It's a nice looking watch. Nice leather, and then it comes with the metal too. And the metal would give it a lot of weight. Let's pop it on wrist real quick, because I don't know how long it's going to be before we get a video on it. And I know you guys are going to want to see this. This is, um, you can tell they're really starting to step their game up. Some of their earlier models were, um, they were really good watches, but you could tell like there was definitely some room for improvement. Well, it looks like they're inching their way that way. So you can see there on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it's a larger watch, but uh, man, that's a really good looking watch for sure. So there it is. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you on the next vid.